Hello, good people! This is Fisher12, and we have another exciting episode of the Black Ops Show for you guys today. As always, we're doing something a little bit different here on the Black Ops Show. We're doing a vlog. We typically don't even do vlogs for regular style videos, so the fact that we're doing a vlog here is unprecedented. But I wanted to make a video for you guys about the Call of Duty World League, and I knew that if I took the time to sit down, type out, and script, and record a regular style commentary like I usually do for these videos, uh, the span of time that this news was released would have already passed. You guys would have already known the information. You guys would have watched 20 or 10 videos on it already. And everything I would be saying would be repeat knowledge for you. And a lot of you probably wouldn't even watch the video. So, I figured I would try to do something different, film a vlog, and get some new information out to you guys as quickly as possible. Uh, so what I have pulled up here is the FAQ. I know a lot of videos that I've seen, people are just sort of spitting out information at you. And there are still a lot of questions that go unanswered. But... Fortunately, Activision has this nice FAQ with a bunch of questions, so I figured we would just go through a couple of them and hopefully ga gain some knowledge about the situation that is fortunately falling upon us now. So, let's go through some of these FAQ questions. Let's just start off with a simple, basic, easy one. What is the Call of Duty World League? The Call of Duty World League features professional and amateur gameplay for monetary prize pool and a chance to earn a way to the Call of Duty Championship in the fall. So that's already one change right there that they're mentioning is that the Call of Duty Championship has been moved from the spring to the fall. Typically it is in the spring almost like four months after the game's been released, but now it's moving to the end of the game cycle, which I think is a much smarter decision because typically around the time that is when the Call of Duty scene is dying out, people are becoming bored and stale with the game, and this is a way to rejuvenate that. People will keep looking forward to the end of this game because they have this gigantic event to look forward to. So I'm really happy about that. How do the pro seasons operate? The Pro Division of Call of Duty World League will have competitions in North America, Europe, Australia, and New Zealand. Each territory will have an independent regional structure for fans to follow and will feed into the opportunity to take part into the worldwide tournament at the Call of Duty Champs. Basic and understanding right there. What about the South America and Asia and Japan territories? Territories not in the Pro League will have the opportunity to take part in the Challenge Division events. So if you guys don't know already, there are two sort of uh, divisions. There is the Pro Division, which has the current pros in it, and there's a Challenge Division, which is going to have amateurs and people in other territories who don't have a Pro League, all sorts. Pretty much everyone who's not a Pro has a chance to be in this Challenger League. How will the Pro Division affect the Call of Duty Championship? Each team will earn World League points based on their placing in the Pro Division. World League points will be determined on how Pro Division teams advance to the Call of Duty Championship. So, also right there we find out that Call of Duty, or Activision rather, is uh, playing off MLG's idea of Pro Points. So, Pro Points are making a return under the, this new title, World League Points. So, I imagine that at events, at LANs, uh, in addition to winning prize pool, you'll win some points as well. And then those points will help decide seedings for the Call of Duty Championship. Do only people that participate in the Pro Division have a chance to earn a spot in the Call of Duty Championship? In addition to the World League points available in the Pro Division, we are also offering the chance for players in the Challenge Division to earn World League points through a series of Call of Duty Championship World League hosted lands and online events. Pretty much exactly what I just said, actually. We will have more information on these events soon. When does all of this start? The Call of Duty World League Pro Division will begin seasonal play in January of 2016, Qualification tournaments for sports in the Pro Division will begin in December 2015. More information about relegation and Challenge Division events will be made in the coming months. This next one is an interesting question. What will you be doing to support the organizations in the league? With the new Call of Duty World League, Activision and Call of Duty will look forward to working directly and more closely than ever before with each of the organizations and teams involved. Now, this didn't quite really allude to outside teams and streaming partners because a lot of people are curious what is MLG's role in this. You know, they didn't mention MLG at all. Uh, Call of Duty or Esports COD, the Twitter account, was tweeting out and tagging specific groups like COD Esports, um, COD Stats, the subreddit, but they didn't mention anything about MLG. And that makes a lot of people curious, what will the future of MLG be? And to be honest, I don't really think MLG has too much of a future in this Call of Duty World League. I think Activision has really taken this over. I think if they were going to be smart about this, they would announce Twitch and maybe YouTube Gaming as streaming partners because that is where most of the traffic is. 
I do see some potential for MLG to fit in here because they have experience running events. I don't think there's anyone who runs a better Call of Duty event than MLG right now. So I definitely see the possibility of maybe Activision reaching out to MLG, people like Adam Apicella, to help run these events or at least get it started off the ground. What is Infinity War and Sledgehammer's game's role here? The Call of Duty World League is a franchise-wide initiative starting with Call of Duty Black Ops 3. So that answer is not really too detailed, but what I'm getting from that is this is something here to stay. This isn't just for Black Ops 3, this is going to be for whatever game Infinity Ward releases, and then whatever game Sledgehammer Games releases after that too. And then the last question, probably the most interesting question that people are curious about, what are the age limits to the Call of Duty World League? And they give a very vague answer here. Call of Duty has different ratings in different countries. We will adhere to the standards set by different ratings boards across the world. So what that tells me is whatever the game's rating is in that country, that's going to be the age limit to participate in both leagues. So here in the United States, Call of Duty is rated M, which I think is 17 plus. So if you are not, if you're under the age of 17, I don't think you're going to be able to play in these leagues. Now, there is a rumor going around that it's actually going to be 18 and older because at 18 you don't need parents' consents for things like travel and participating in, in events that are televised and things like that. So Activision might just make it a whole lot easier on themselves and just say, hey, you got to be 18 to play in our league. But I think that's the way that it should be. You know, I, I, maybe it should be 17, but the way that I see it, if you're not old enough to buy this game on your own, you shouldn't be old enough to be playing it publicly streamed and tele, well, not televised, but streamed live to the public. Like, that just doesn't seem right. That's like someone drinking underage, but it's okay because their parents bought them the drink or something, you know? I'm really looking forward to what Call of Duty is doing here with the World League. It's great that we finally have developer support because now we can see increase in prize pools, we can see more events, we can see rule changes happen instantly, so when the players decide, hey, this is something that we're going to ban or this is something that we're not going to do anymore, we don't have to wait two months for Call of Duty to actually implement that into the game. It'll probably be implemented the next day or, the ne or that week. So we have a lot to be looking forward to this year. I'm really excited. Are you guys excited? Let me know in the comments down below. That will unfortunately bring us to the end of today's video. So if you like this video and want to see maybe more vlogs like this, give this video a like and let me know in the comments down below. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be trying to put out more Black Ops League content as best I can. But other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed the video and take care.